Respiratory concerns are another very important danger sign. The baby could be tachypneic where the respiratory rate is more than or equal to 60 breaths per minute. There could be other features of respiratory distress. I would refer you to the playlist on respiratory disorders where I have discussed most of these conditions. So the baby could have grunting, subcostal and intercostal recessions. The baby could have apnea where there is cessation of breathing for longer than 15 to 20 seconds or it may be associated with bradycardia and desaturation in which case it need not last for 15 seconds even. Uh, any respiratory compromise can go on to respiratory failure and so we should be very careful. We connect the baby to the pulse oximeter, keep the baby prepared for CPAP if there is respiratory distress or if the baby has gone apneic uh, or appears not to be coping with just non-invasive, you may need to start IPPV as well. So these babies can deteriorate very rapidly and be prepared to intubate and support their airways. We should also consider blood gas review and chest x-ray and further investigations and management will depend on what is the most likely underlying cause for this respiratory distress.